Good day to everyone. So let's begin our next lecture. Today we'll talk about the National Cultural Centers of Uzbekistan. We do hope that you will get some useful information from today's lecture. So what is National Cultural Center? Have you ever thought about this kind of phrase? Look at the screen. You see different kind of nations that are together. They stand friendly, looking at each other. They enjoy being together. So we'll talk about them. As you know, diversity is a wealth that enriches cultural and spiritual heritage of different people. So diversity means different nations, different opinions, and respecting these different opinions. Just this tolerance. They live under one roof. They live with friendship and the one flag. Not only Uzbek people's culture observe with other cultures positive experience, but also it enriches them considerably and serves as an impulse for their further development. So national centers closely cooperate with each other. Especially they take part at national holidays and events. Uzbekistan is our common home. They strengths international harmony, peace and stability in the country. They support each other. They try to negotiate. They try to understand each other. There are more than 138 national cultural centers. For example, Armenian, Jewish, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, German, and so on. The number of them are increasing. It enriched more than 150. And just today you will get acquainted with some of them. Armenian National Cultural Center of Uzbekistan, of course, will take part in different kinds of events, presenting, displaying their cultural heritage during different kinds of holidays in Uzbekistan. Jewish National Cultural Center of Uzbekistan also is active at participating in different kind of events, showing and displaying their heritage that belongs to their nation, to their culture. On the screen, you can see sample from their participation in different kind of exhibitions, events, just displaying their, their belongings to their culture. They take part to display their national food, national clothes, national identity that they are proud of. The next national cultural center is a Krim Tatarian National Cultural Center in Uzbekistan. On the screen you can see displaying their national food to people. They display their culture. They display their cultural and their spiritual heritage to different people. They also take part, uh, active part, at different kind of events, displaying, showing their culture to different nations. The next one is in Azerbaijan Cultural Center. On the screen, you can see they're participating, uh, just uh, or showing or displaying their culture at different events that are, that are held in Uzbekistan. And you can see on the screen the building that was just uh, as a the two serves as a cultural center of this nation the next cultural center of uh, Uzbekistan we can say the following so it is Belarusian cultural center uh, that is located in Ankara city you see the people you see the women showing displaying uh, just uh, taking part in the event, the displaying their culture, spiritual and uh, cultural heritage. Indian Cultural Center, you see on the screen, world famous Indian culture. They also take part at different events, showing, displaying, spreading their spiritual and culture to all people all over the world. Look at the screen. Who are they? You are right. This is the Russian Cultural Center members. 
in Uzbekistan. They take part as well, displaying their culture, displaying their music, displaying their art, displaying their spiritual and their, uh, cultural heritage to all people. They take part, they take active part in different kind of events that are organized in Uzbekistan. Next one is Arab National Cultural Center. On the screen you can see their closings, their uh, national uh, uh, peculiarities concerning to their uh, dish, clothes, uh, some national identities. So they, they also take part in different kind of events. The next one is Uyghur National Cultural Center. They are also famous with their food, with their traditional clothes, the traditions and the um, uh, customs. And they also display the art at different kind of events that are held in Uzbekistan. You see the beauty of their dance. You see the variety of their closings, unusual closings on the screen that attracts a lot of people. With this kind of national identity, they attract a lot of people's attention to their culture. Here is another type of their clothing. Very beautiful, attractive, unusual. The next one is Chinese National Center. Famous for just colors, for design, for unusual uh, appearance of their clothing costumes. This center also takes part in different kind of events and they participate in show, display, all clothing, all art, just culture that is related to, to their nation, to their national identity. Next one is German Cultural Center in Uzbekistan. They also display just unique traditions, unique customs, unique uh, belongings to their culture proudly. On the next coming slide, we can see the nation, uh, National Cultural Center of Kyrgyzia. They are also just famous for their beautiful clothes, for their beautiful culture that are displayed at different events that are held in Uzbekistan. Look at their beauty. Look at the beauty of their clothing. Here is another picture that shows the culture, the cultural heritage of this nation. Next one is Association of Korean Cultural Center in Uzbekistan. Look at their clothing. Somehow, somehow unusual, yes? They also take part at different events with their colorful clothing, with their colorful arts that belongs to their nation. Next one is Greek Cultural Center Association that is just located in Tashkent city. You can see the beauty of their clothing, unusualness of their customs and traditions. Yearly, they also take part in different kind of events just among the other national cultural centers. Polish Cultural Center of Uzbekistan. They're also active at different events. They also have got the variety of costumes, unusual costumes that they display at different events. You see, they take active part with the adults as well as with children. There are also six national cultural centers in the Republic of Karakal, Pakistan, and 23 in Tashkent, and 95 of them in the regions. Arabs, Bashkirs, Belarusians, and others. And, and we can say 100 active, activists of national cultural centers received different medals and awards of the Republic of Uzbekistan for their active participation in different events. And even more than 10 representatives of various national, nationalities were awarded with the title of Hero of Uzbekistan. You see, our government gives attention not only to Uzbek people as well as to international relationships and international cultural centers that are located in Uzbekistan. They respect 
they respect their culture. Uzbekistan respects their uh, culture, their heritage, their spiritual and cultural heritage of national cultural centers that are located in Tashkent, in Uzbekistan. They demonstrate their culture, handicrafts, and the tourism as well. So this kind of culture uh, makes a great influence on the development of tourism because people travel to see different cultures of different nations. People move to see their culture. So these national cultural centers demonstrate their culture to us. They make their culture famous, not only in their country, as well as abroad. For example, the old national cultures, the cultural centers that are located in Uzbekistan, display, spread, make their culture famous, not only to Uzbek people, but to all other nations. They keep and value their heritage, tangible and intangible heritage. May they make them world known, well known. They attract others' attention to their culture. They keep and uh, preserve their heritage not only to their people, to their nation, but as well as to other people. A person who loves its nation and people respects representatives of other ethnic groups. They respect and they, of course, display a peace with tolerance. People travel to peaceful countries and places where there is a friendship, where there is a tolerance between the nations, there will be just a peace and the, the traveling will be developed. On the screen you can see the peaceful country where a lot of people live together, where different nations live together under one roof. People never travel to unsafe places. People escape from war zones. In unsafe places, tourism never develops. So, development of tourism depends on keeping peace within nations. Today, we talked about the national cultural centers of Uzbekistan that are located in Uzbekistan. The main aim is to keep peace within a nation, between the nations. That will help with the development of tourism as well. That's it for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.